Today is a random day in October where it's like sunny and 70. It's been cold, it's been chilly, I should say, in like the 50s and raining. All of a sudden, we get a little mini summer break in Rhode Island. So we're gonna take out the Pearson 26 for some solitude and sailing. Wind today is about, right now, around seven knots. And it's blowing straight out of the channel. There's Chiron, Pearson 26. See how I moved the motor from last time. I took out that block off just to prevent, um, prevent the motor from falling out because there was a crack at the top of the block. So the motor's attached now to the, to the engine bay right on the stern and we're good to go. Looking forward to this time of solitude and sailing. Solo sailing today. We'll pull up the jib, the main. We're gonna need it all to get some uh, proper, proper speed. Here's my breakfast and lunch. There we go. Got the books, got everything we need. All right, now that that's out of the way, get the life jacket and get my radio and let's get going. Some new line I had bought for, um, bought this for the old day, but it's too thick. So I'm just gonna use it as an extra dock line when I'm pulling in so I can toss it. Probably hook, use it as a stern line. These cushions on here. Cushions have been weathered. Sitting outside in the, in the uh, sun, in those UV rays. So look at that. Should have had a cover on it. So we're gonna have to replace that in the off season. Since we're going full main and jib, we're gonna get the sail cover off and finish getting the boat prepped for the sail. Yeah, that's more like it. She sure is pretty. Turn the vent on, open the fuel line. This is the uh, six course. The other 6.5 four stroke is again, um, having the float valve stuck open we fixed that last time so the fact that it's doing it again makes me think i need to replace that float valve. so we'll be taking this motor out so i'm gonna get a new uh car kit replace the float valve and the bigger motor because i don't want to waste time here at the dock doing that Good to have a backup and then i don't want to risk it having to do that work while i'm all underwater it's better to do it when you're tied up so the wind is not crazy like the last time we went with big gusts this time winds in our favor it's not too strong we'll still have a good sail this little motor should be doing no problem In the channel just opened up the jib wind is to a stern it's coming from the port side so we should be on a port side um, um, broad reach but that's only if it kicks in it's like it just off what is going on so I, I opened up the jib I have a little bit of slack in it so you can see I'll try to get a, a clip from the from the from the stern so you can see that it's just very, very lightly moving. This is a good time to have a spinnaker or a light, light wind sail. But yeah, I'm seeing also that tear that I didn't repair last time. She's 
fine. It's just in the it's just in the cosmetic and the in the green stripe on the side. It's been too crazy of a schedule and too windy anyway to try to take that down and, and, and repair it. We'll get it done. Uh, we'll get it done soon, hopefully. <laughs> It's interesting, people always get a kick out of seeing a sailboat with their sails open heading out of the channel. The only time I do this is when I'm not having to tack frequently. As you can see by how light the sail's moving, it's not much wind action right now. Nice, smooth, easy. It's low tide. It's like a slack tide even. So, we're hardly moving. I'm gonna pick up the juice a little bit on the, on the motor. All right, I'll catch you out there. We're on a nice, slow, very slow run. The slowest I've ever run, ran. <laughs> In the channel, still heading out, doing about three and a half knots, woo! Having some morning coffee. It's delicious. Every sailor needs to have a little bit of morning coffee. Wake you up in the morning, get you, get you focused, right? Once we get out of this channel, we'll turn towards the wind and, um, open up the main and take her sailing, cut the engines off. It certainly was a beautiful day. This is definitely a summer day in October since it was 72 degrees. Making our way off the channel. <clears throat> That's those, that wake is from clamming boat that just sped by, sped by the no wake zone, making a, a wake. go the name of that boat was it's final it sure is final it's beautiful it's always a fine day when you're fishing or sailing isn't it i mean when you really love it it could be raining and you could still be like hey this is beautiful now nah, the wind died down just adjust my angle a little bit i might have to, have to jive but there's a, a boat to my uh, starboard side, so I can't I can't try to turn anymore starboard. Got to let him pass. Beautiful. Just need a little more wind. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said summer in October. Got to take some layers off here. Yeah. Trust, trust me, the jacket's going back on. A wife would have a conniption if I sailed without my jacket. Now let's get up there and raise the main. So typically, I would have churned the boat directly into the wind in irons. And uh, with the tiller tide, it holds the heading pretty good. The winds were super light. I was just off the wind tide. So I decided to just go up there and raise this sail. If you're paying attention to the head sail, you're gonna notice that we were at irons and then all of a sudden, there's a little bit of shift in the wind and the boat wants to tack on its own. So I remain on the high side, I'm holding on to the mast. The wind is still light enough that I can just pull this mainsail up with no issues. So you can see what I was referring to. She wants to go on a port tack, but fortunately the winds were really light. So I just continued on with what I was doing. All right, we're back at the helm. Let's get this tack going. Let's get the boat moving, cut this motor.
We're sailing. We're finally sailing. Motor's off. Just the wind moving. Beautiful. We're on a, a nice little broad reach uh, from the starboard side. So I got the, the main out for the port to catch a little more of the wind. I got the jib out and I'm um, just trying to trim my sails. Look, I'm not touching the tiller. She's working on her own. Here's my hands-free tiller. See if you can see that, hands-free tiller. I don't know what I'm aiming at, but let's see. There you go, she's hands-free. That's my that's my old school autopilot. Yay, I'm just noticing now the, uh, the screen on the front so now i can see what you're seeing all right here we go beautiful how wonderful is that how peaceful is that let's get you off of here whoops I just dropped my velcro in the water so what is um solitude and sailing Solitude and sailing is getting away. Focus on relaxing your mind, relaxing your spirit, being at, at peace. It's a spiritual thing. Whether you believe in God or not, I, I do. So for me, it's a good time that I feel connected to God. And the moments of silence, I'll give you some moments of silence a minute of just quiet and sailing. I'm gonna need to tack now because we're getting into some more shallow waters. There's nothing like the sweet sound of the water splashing on the hull. It never gets old. It's so quiet, it's so peaceful. This is solitude and sailing. Smell the sea, feel the breeze, hear the ocean, and be at ease. I don't know about you, but as for me, right now, I'm feeling pretty relaxed. I'm definitely at ease. We're on a port side tack now. I couldn't film the tack because I dropped the uh, the Velcro that clips the GoPro back there. So, right, this this clip right here is by the iPhone. I'll see what I can do to set make a to set up um, a way to capture the next tack or jibe by video. Maybe I can get a sail tie or something tie the GoPro to there so it doesn't fall off. And then you could see me move. It'd be a little hairy. If that GoPro goes for another swim, I don't know, I don't know. There's the sounds of the sea.
right, let's catch uh, let's catch a view from the hatch. So we got the sails trimmed pretty good. So right now, she's sailing herself. Hey, look, mom, no hands. Try to do that on your power boat, unless you got autopilot. Beautiful. Just something about sailing is so beautiful. Hear that? We're moving at about four and a half knots. Nice, smooth, easy sail. There's a fellow sailor out there. What a gorgeous day. 70 degrees in October. Wow. You know what I just realized? You hear that sound? You hear that? That's the sound of no one yelling. That's the sound of nobody causing you stress or taking your attention. It's the sound of solitude and sailing. We're just sailing. Beautiful. All right, let's head back out there. That was quite a view from the from the hatch. What a beautiful day. We got a stowaway. What you doing up there? Trying to catch an easy ride on solitude and sailing? Glad he did that, cause no. Let's see that I need to tighten this up a little bit. Time for some lunch. Some homemade uh, spinach salad, Italian dressing. There we go. What did Popeye say? I'm strong to the minute, cause I eats me spinach. <laughs> Popeye the sailor man. It's good stuff right here. This is um my smoothie I've been on a diet so this is chocolate and banana portable blender pretty cool works pretty good I'm, I'm down I'm down 23 and a half pounds in about two and a half months I was getting a little bit uh, a little bit on the heavy side this summer but I feel much lighter getting around better so this has been helping me out. It's meal replacement. It was supposed to be my breakfast. Um, but I just spent, you know, quite a quite a bit of time just relaxing, silence and solitude. And now I'm having my breakfast shake and my lunch salad. So chocolate and bananas. And it's the first time trying the chocolate flavor. It's actually it's pretty good. 
It's delicious. Healthy, all my vitamins I need. 27 grams of protein, no cholesterol. It's only that, that one has one gram of sugar. The, uh, the other one, the other flavor has no sugar. Just sitting here looking up at that main sheet i'm gonna need to replace that maybe that's what i'll use that extra line for that i brought from the other boat it's just sailing right now peacefulness no loud music no stress It's a great time for some breathing exercises. Relax, breathe in, breathe out. Enjoy some time in peace, in silence, and in solitude. Connect with your inner self. Oh, there's the lobster men. They uh, laid out some lobster traps, and now they're back to pick them up. Sitting here thinking about how well this sails are trimmed. This boat is just sailing itself. She's perfectly balanced, as one would say. So see the wind gauge up there? The end pieces of it is broken off. So typically it's supposed to point the direction the wind is blowing from, but because the end piece is broken off, it's actually pointing the direction the wind is blowing to. So if you trace a straight line through it, um, where the wind is, it will show you where the wind is coming from. You know what I mean? So it's pointing direction the wind is traveling to. So that means the wind is blowing this way. Let me see if I can. So we technically, we're at a close haul. Okay, Chiron, I hear you. We're catching it. So the sails and the boat talks to you, lets you know if you're still trimmed well or if you need to make some adjustments. But you know, I haven't touched this tiller in quite a while. She's, she's trimmed pretty good. As we're traveling through, there's some land masses. And um, that island, Patience Prudence, those two islands kind of um, break up some of the wind. And so every now and then we get a change of direction of the wind and, and uh, the sails might, might fluff a little bit. So I think we're good now. So if I had quickly made a change, I'd be making a change back. So as long as she's she's maintaining course, she's trimmed nicely. I don't have a weather helm. I I, I got a nice flow right now, so I'm I'm happy with this um, with this tra sail trim. Like a nice twist. I'm just sitting back lounging over here, just taking it all in, taking it all in solo sailing. See what I'm saying? There's no need to stress, no need to fret. We're having a good time here. Gotta make sure I don't lose my sunglasses. I got the ties in the back. There's a guy burning a lot of fuel. Uh, see him? This, this is peaceful. This is awesome. This is relaxing. This is sailing. We're sailing. So. 
think she wants me to make just a minor adjustment. Oh, she's she wants to go. She wants to go. Let's see, Chiron. Want me tap this tiller for you? Do you fellow sailors out there talk to your vessel? Obviously, it's an inanimate object. There you go. I just made a minor adjustment with my foot. Like that. Now I got the a better uh, wind angle for this sail. So if I didn't make that adjustment, what, what would I have done differently? I would have tightened up my um, jib a little more. Um, my main looks pretty good because it's pretty tight right now. But instead of doing all that, I'm still traveling in the direction I want to be in. So I just adjusted my, um, my bow just a tad bit with my foot. See? No hands on the tiller. It's great. It's an old school autopilot. And as far as navigation, I'm holding on to the phone right now. And that's where my my uh, electronic charts are on the Navionics. Look at that. This guy made a nice big wake right next to me. So I'm about to go upsy downsy. It's all good. It's all good. I'm feeling so de stressed. I'm just chilling. None of that matters. So my sails, they don't really like it when. Uh, when there's not a lot of wind and somebody makes a big wave. So, see? Chiron's not happy with that. I see, I hear you, I hear you. That guy's not nice, you're telling him. It's like the boat's telling that, that dude off. Just came through and made a big big wake next to me, right? All, all, the, all the space, all the space out here, you gotta come real close, right? And, and make a wake. Try to be courteous out there, people. I guess maybe today it's kind of like slack tide, so anything makes a wake. It's October, but it's like a summer day, 70, sunny, lovely, beautiful, light winds, but we're making the best of it. Let me sit up here. What do you think about these chairs? Give you gives you some back support so i like it thanks for sailing with me catch you on the next episode with solitude and sailing either on sailing vessel chiron or couscous once i get her ready or we go sunfish sailing on cachupa and if we're fishing we're gonna take solitude out all vintage boats from the 1960s and 1970s and uh I pretty much i get the maintenance done on it myself surviving on an on a, a nurse's salary take care be at peace and enjoy your day i hope you enjoyed this episode of solitude and sailing don't forget to like and subscribe